Hello, South Africa. My name is Nazli Sharif, and today we are coming to you live from the Victory Theatre in my home province of Gauteng, where the Democratic Alliance is about to officially launch the party's 2024 election TV advert. The DA is on a mission to rescue South Africa, and this mission has never been more important. South Africa needs to be rescued and fast. When you open up the taps, you don't have any water coming out. When you turn on the light switch, there's no electricity. We feel unsafe within our own homes, and we are sitting with the highest youth unemployment in the world. This is not normal, South Africa. This is not okay. But we are here as the DA to tell you to hold on. Help is on the way. But we can only do this if each and every one of you go out there and vote for the DA on the 29th of May on Election Day. Please like and share this broadcast with all your friends and your family so they don't miss out on the action. Join the conversation online using the hashtag RescueSA and hashtag RescueSA Tour. We want to hear from you. Joining me now is the DA Deputy Campaign Manager, Ashor Sarupan. Hello, Ashor. Welcome to the broadcast. It's always so good to have you here. We will be one of the first people to see the TV advert in this historical time. Why is the launch so important? So I think that what we are going to do today is put forward to South Africans in a short, effective way what our offer is, how we're going to rescue South Africa, and the fact that your single vote can make a difference. I think it's a very compelling and powerful message that every South African needs to see, and it needs to reach as many people as possible. More and more people are in digital, so once the ad is live, please do share it with your friends, share it with your family members, share it in your community groups, share it in neighborhood watch groups, and let everyone see that there is a way out of the mess South Africa is currently in, and we can rescue South Africa and your one vote can make that difference. Ashur, we have seen that where the DA governs, we get things right. We see in DA municipalities, DA provinces, the DA difference. What exactly is the DA difference and why do we see such change where we govern? I think there are many reasons for it. The first is the fact that we don't do cater deployments. If you live in a DA-run municipality, what you will have is every person who is hired to do a job does it professionally. They're not hired because they're an ANC member, an EFF member, or whatever party member. They're hired to do a job. So whether you're you're cleaning the streets or you're managing the finances, you do the job you're paid to do. And if you live in a DA municipality, you want to contribute to society, you don't need party membership to go and apply for a job in a municipality, in a province, in a department. We will assess you on your merits. So the fairness, that we, which is a fundamental DA value, is the first thing that sets us apart. The second thing is, of course, we don't steal the money. South Africa is not a poor country, but it is a country that is poorly run. And so all of the problems we have where you go to a government department and say, sorry, we don't have the money for this, it's because the money's been stolen. We take care of the finances. We make sure that every single cent is spent on the voters and where it matters. And that makes all the difference. And that is why when you live in a DA government, things get better. Ashur, we know that service delivery is much better in a DA-run municipality, and that's essentially what this election is about. Do we have water? Do we have electricity? Are we safe? Do we have jobs? What makes the DA different? So what makes the DA different is we don't just talk about things, but we actually do it. If you give us a chance, if you lend us your vote for five years, we will go before the election and we will tell you this is what we're going to do. We produce a manifesto, and it's the most detailed manifesto of every political party. So for electricity, we have an offer. We know that we have we're full of bright ideas to keep the lights on, as I always <laughs> say, because we know what it needs to do to save ESCOM. But more than that, beyond just saving and breaking up ESCOM and getting in the private sector to generate more electricity, We have a plan, for example, in every municipality where you live right now, where the DA is governing, we have gone to the market and we've said, come and build a power plant, solar power mostly, for this municipality so we can alleviate load shedding. And up and down the Western Cape, these municipalities are on track to become load shedding free. We're also reaching a point, even when we're only in government for a year in Ekuruleni, we signed 22 IPPs because we promised you, the voter, that if you put us into government, we would rescue you from load shedding. If you gave us that opportunity nationally, we would do that. And it's the same for every other services. We pay attention to the details. The plans matter. As a politician, you can't just say, well, I want load shedding to stop. The president 
promised us when he was deputy president 10 years ago, he said, load shedding will be a thing of the past. You can't just will it, you need plans of action. And that is what the DA does. Yeah, absolutely. I saw we just heard the ANC polling below 38% for the first time ever. What exactly does this mean for everybody at home? I think the first thing it means is that after more than 120 years of one party rule one way or another in South Africa, we're about to become a coalition country. And it's an exciting time because what it means is that no longer, firstly, will the ANC be able to say, well, we speak for all of society because they don't. They're going to be a minority party. They're going to at most speak for one in three South Africans. And what that means now is that we are moving into a, sp a space where we will never have any party controlling our lives uh, again and saying that they speak for all of us. The second thing it means is that we're now moving into a space where there are going to be two types of government, an ANC-led doomsday coalition or a DA-led coalition of hope with its multi-party charter. And voters now need to look at the plans of what is being offered by the ANC and EFF and MK on one side and the DA and the multi-party charter on the other side. And if you look at what the doomsday scenario is offering, it's more of the same but worse. Whereas what the DA is offering is an end to load shedding, an end to water shedding. We will fight crime. We will fight gender-based violence. We will ensure that jobs are created. We will attract more investment into South Africa. And everybody's lives will get better under a DA-led multi-party charter. So I think it's an exciting time. And what it means for the ANC polling at 38% is that change is coming. But it can only come if you go out on the 29th of May to vote for it. It's as simple as that. Yeah. So I just want to ask you, you know, polling at 38 percent, it's saying that there's a shift happening within society and that people are actually saying, you know what, enough is enough. What do you think? Yeah, I think that the ANC has been given a 30 years and they treated those 30 years as a blank check. And it started with the arms deal. And then we had... You know, we, we had HIV and AIDS denialism, which caused the deaths of millions of people. After that, we had state capture. We had the irrational lockdowns that caused people, more people died of starvation and hunger during the lockdown than COVID and all of those sorts of things. It was a rather the mistake after mistake after mistake. And I think people have said, yes, thank you very much for liberation, but we're not interested in a better yesterday. We're looking for a better tomorrow. And that is why the ANC vote share is collapsing the way it is, because they're no longer making an offer about tomorrow. And that's why the DA in these polls are surging. We're at record levels of support. We've never had this many South Africans saying openly and proudly, I'm voting DA. If you walk around in every community, people are wearing their DA t-shirts with pride. And it doesn't matter who they voted for when they passed the saying, this time, I want change. And the only party that has a track record of delivering on change is the DA. Yeah. You know, speaking about this change and this hope, we saw the DA leader, John Stian Hazen, launch the Rescue SA tour yesterday. And it's about bringing hope back to South Africans. And I know as a Joburg resident, as a resident of Gauteng, as a South African, that seeing the DA grow gives me hope because I know we can rescue South Africa. I want to get a a little bit personal with you, Asho. When we speak about hope, what inspires hope in you as an individual? What makes you wake up in the morning and feel hopeful? Yeah, so I think the, the most important thing that makes me feel hopeful every morning when I wake up is the fact that every day we see progress made in DA governments. So I live in Ekuruleni, where things are falling apart. You know, in, in my constituency of Springs, my hometown, we have every single street light in that town is out. It's been out for six years now under the ANC. When we were in government for a year, we tried to fix it, but then the EFF got rid of us. Yeah. But I see the little bits of progress we made. And in that one year when we were in government, the power station burned down, for example, in Springs. And normally that's a one-month fix. A DA government fixed it in five days. I'm grateful it didn't burn down after the EFF took over because it would, we'd still be without electricity months later. Yeah. So, so it's those sorts of things. I see the progress we've made. I look at the Western Cape where unemployment is far lower than the national average. It's now at 20% and it's going to drop even lower because when you where the DA governs, jobs are created. And, and I, I just walk around in Cape Town. You can't walk around in Joburg because you'll be stabbed. Yep. So I walk around in Cape Town and I see, you don't see young people sitting around doing nothing. If you go into Gauteng, they're like young people who just sit and wait for something to happen. And, and, and you know, it can be, feel very hopeless when you're out here. But what gives me hope is I see the change. And I'm very privileged to be a member of parliament to get to go to Cape Town and see for myself. And, and even down in Midvale and elsewhere where we govern, and I look at what Chris Pappas, for example, has done in Umgeni. And in a short space of time, that municipality has gone from debt to paying, in debt to paying off all its debts. Services have improved. How it falls is the cleanest it's ever been. Jobs are being created. People are investing in, in Umgeni and moving to Umgeni. And that shows you 
that there is a better way forward. So it gives me a lot of hope when I see what the DA actually does. Absolutely. Ashok, before I let you go, because I know we have some FOMO, because we want to go and watch the TV ad, in a quick 30 seconds, what is your message for everybody at home? This is this election is our one chance for change. It's the most important election since 1994. And the DA can rescue South Africa from unemployment, from water shedding, from load shedding, and from crime. So please, when you see this ad today, share it with your friends, share it with your neighbors, make sure that everyone gets the message. We can tell you what we need you to do, which is go out and vote, but you, we need you at home to tell your friends, your neighbors, your family members, your CPF groups, your neighbor watch groups, to please go and vote DA and to share this message and let them make up their own minds as to who is best to rescue South Africa. There you go. You have to make up your own mind on who is best to rescue South Africa. To quote the DA leader, John Stianazen, help is on the way, but only if you go and vote on the 29th of May. Like I said, we have an incredible entertainment lineup coming up. We're going to hear from the incoming premier candidate of Gauteng. Yes, you heard it right. Incoming premier of Gauteng, Salim Simanga, as well as the DA leader, John Stianhazen. I can hear it's going crazy inside. I don't want to miss out. You shouldn't miss out either. Don't go anywhere. Let's cross right over to the stage. Democrats, and I'll be your de program director for today. Today marks a milestone, an important milestone in our campaign for this year's election. We will be screening for the very first time our election advertisement, showing everybody in South Africa that come May 29, we as the Democratic Alliance will be taking over this country. <laughs> See, joining us for this launch today, we have the leadership here. We have the federal leader of the Democratic Alliance, John Cien Hazen. <laughs> we have our DA Deputy Chairperson of Federal Council, Asho Seraput. <laughs> And we have the incoming premier of Gauteng, Salim Simaga! See, my Gauteng is not a good thing. But it's not a good thing. 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 Instead, Gauteng deserves a provincial government that cares. A premier that will make sure that it sorts things out for its people, all the way from Mabapane, all the way to Atrech Vilisi Divenli, Alexandra Riken of Simagagena. Democrats, help me welcome out to the stage the incoming premier of Gauteng, Salim Simagagena. Hala la hauteng halala Hala la hauteng halala Pambili DA pambili Pambili DA pambili Maga nda masala maga ambe Maga nda makogi maga ambe I nearly said after Mar I'm not going to <laughs> Democrats it's good to be with you this morning. And I'll tell you why it's good to be with you this morning. Last night we had a debate. And we debated with a man who doesn't have a plan. A man who doesn't have a plan, who repeated lies and forgot the lies that he was saying. And he said, no, I didn't promise people money. And during the advert, or during the ad break of that program, 
they showed the video when he was actually promising people the, the man. But you see, we are sitting with a problem. The problem that we're sitting with is this. There are people who believe the lies that they are telling. And Democrats, it's up to you to make sure that we reach those people and say, but thank Biki. Think a little bit. Do you think if they fail to do all these things in 30 years, they will be able to do them now? I man, nahana happen. Think again. They've had 30 years to do all these things. They've had 30 years where they inherited infrastructure. Instead of improving it, they let it go to the drain. They had a system where we had police stations that were working. We had police colleges that were able to train the police. We had an economy that was moving in the right direction. And then Otto Tamo and wants to brag about how things economy being the biggest. It has been like that even before the ANC was born. The economy of Gauteng was big 150 years ago. It has been built that way. But what he failed to acknowledge and to say was that he said no, if Gauteng was a country, would have been number four. It has actually moved down. If Gauteng was a country, when things started falling apart, or before things started falling apart, if Houghton was a country, Houghton would have been a number two, South Africa would have been number one. Yeah. That is the reality. But then he goes and promised people 7,000 a month for 500,000 people. That is close on 4 billion rand a month. Where is that money going to come from? Democrats, the time is now. But there's also another party that I want to talk about. You know, there's, there's a groen slang in the grass. There's that groen slang in the grass. There's a mukwapa in the grass. That mukwapa is based on MANC up the, what, what is the right word? Um, up the, what, what, what is the word? <laughs> to support. Up what? That year. <laughs> they are busy. No, on a serious note, you have a political party that is not aiming, that doesn't have any intention of making sure that Houghton gets to be saved. All they care about is the position that they get. All they care about is who gets to be a, a, a little a, a, a important person who has now three, four cars that will be following them. Hey, we don't care about those things. We care about the economy. We care about people getting jobs. We care about safety and security. We care about education. We care about infrastructure that is working. That's what we care about. And we say, Khan Maran, Baeza net daso. Los on Siso. On scary iso, on spoiler iso, on sverk iso. And on skom bejo, on skan Indonesia tu, on skan Enadale tu, on skan what's the other plug? Yesteras tu, on skan Tukis tu, on skom. We are coming to all these places, and our message is simple: support them and get 30 years or another continuation of the last 30 years and support the DA and get, get, better, get better government. Yeah. That's the message. Support them, then they prep up the ANC, then you continue with corruption, then you continue with the looting, then you continue with lack of investment, then you continue with the 30% pass rate, then you continue with your aunties, your omas, your, your, your opas who have to go to the clinic and stand there from four o'clock in the morning only to be told at two o'clock that they don't have medication for you. Or, or, you vote for the DA, we end load shedding. We get more police out there to do what needs to be done. We get the economy going so that you can get a job. And we make sure that the infrastructure gets to be fixed. That's the plan. Somebody promised people all sorts of things. He promised people uh, 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 to build a Santa Barbara in, in, uh, in, in, uh, in, what, in what's that municipality again? Where he was a mayor for two minutes. 
in Beaufort West. And he had Beaufort left eight hard club and net cut dag lost it. He lost, he left a lot of nonsense that they now have to sort out there. Naisna, a town that used to be an example. Klom cut no. But I'm not here, the leader will talk to that. What I'm here to say is that we want to send a message to the people of South Africa. The message that we want to send to the people of South Africa is this. You're either going to continue living in a nightmare or you'll remember the dream of 1994 and make it a reality in 2024. That's our message. It's very clear. He... Panyaza said something very interesting yesterday and he was trying to be smart and political. He says, you know, we are celebrating uh, the day that Chris Honey died years ago. I said, hey, Chris Honey must be turning in his grave right now. And if Chris Honey had died yesterday, the police wouldn't even have arrived by yesterday. The case would not be resolved for the next five years, if, if at all getting to be resolved. That is the state of South Africa that we're living in. That is the state of the province that we're living in, where Beggy Taylor can tell people, our sisters, that you are lucky to be raped once. That he says, he's so scared of criminals, he can't even mention their names. He says, I know them, but I can't mention their names. When you go to police stations, or when you call the police stations, you are lucky if your phone gets to be answered. And if it gets answered, you are lucky to even have somebody coming out. If it's at night, they will tell you, no, we'll come tomorrow. Because they're saying we are not safe. So what is their job? But the people of South Africa, the choice is very clear. Some of the same, or we turn around and we save South Africa. I always say, people from all over Africa came down here because the countries have fallen apart. Zimbabwe has fallen apart. Mozambique has fallen apart. You know, you go up and up. Countries that have fallen apart, people are here. Wakhan yekhan. Where is you and me going to go? Hey, three quarters of you can't even swim. You can't even reach Robben Island. You won't reach Robben Island. So it means we have to work very hard to save this country. I am committed to saving this country and to saving this province. All of us must commit ourselves to do each and everything that we can in the next seven weeks to make sure that no day goes by where somebody doesn't see a DA t-shirt, doesn't get a DA pamphlet, doesn't get a DA message, doesn't see a DA ad on the TV, doesn't hear a DA ad on radio. That is the promise that we're making to the people of Gauteng and to the people of South Africa. We will rescue South Africa. We will rescue a Gauteng. It's all in our hands and we will do it. Thank you very much. Mamela, so we are going to rescue Gauteng. We're going to rescue the Free State, Limpopo, Northwest, Northern Cape, KwaZulu, Natal, Eastern Cape, every corner of this country as we have managed to do in the Western Cape. I get So the moment we've been waiting for is finally here. Are you ready to rescue South Africa? Are you ready to see our ad? The middle section, are we ready to see our ad? The left, are we ready? Ladies and gentlemen, let's give it up to Tano Wareham. Hey, good morning. Samwanani. Ninjani. Hey, my name is Tano Wareham. I'm all the way from Durban. And I'm here for the same reason you guys are. We want a brighter future, eh? Let's celebrate, let's sing some music. The song that I'm gonna sing it uh, talks about, it says, I will follow you all the days of my life. And uh, I believe we're here because we are following the right people into the right future. Do you agree? Yeah. All right, let's get warmed up. You guys can stand. 
Brian, come, we're gonna have a bit of a party. Thank you so much.
In 2006, the Democratic Alliance won Cape Town by just one seat. With just 42 votes, he recently won Ungi. Because people voted for change. DA Ran Mudfall is now the best run municipality in Gauteng. And a new story was written for the Western Cape when people voted DA. But if you want a new government that works, then you have to vote for it. In this election, every single vote will count. Your vote can rescue South Africa. Vote DA. John's right behind me. Yes, he's right behind me. Hala, la tie, hala, la. Aye, ye, 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 ye. Chovi, chochote, chovi, chow. Democrats, South Africans, help me welcome onto the stage the federal leader of the Democratic Alliance, John Stenhazer. Tata John Tata. Viva DA, viva! Viva! Sunny Bonani! Moene! Oh, get your bull and I'm slanch! Get your bull, Gitanda, I'm a Democrat! Gakulu! It's a good day to be a Democrat today, and it's a good day to be a member of the Democratic Alliance. And it's a good day because if that message doesn't inspire you, I don't know what will. Because what our country needs more than anything right now is hope. Our country is drowning in despair. 30 million of our fellow men and women live in poverty. 84 of our fellow men and women are murdered every single day. We are drowning in a cost of living crisis where our families can no longer afford to put food on the table. We are drowning in an unemployment crisis where over 40% of people who want to work in our country cannot find a job. We are drowning in a crisis of youth unemployment, where seven out of 10 
of our young people in our country cannot get a job. And it breaks my heart to see our graduates not leading companies, not in employment, but standing at traffic lights begging for work. In what country in the world do young people and young graduates have to stand at a traffic light to beg for work? Something is wrong in South Africa. Something is very wrong in South Africa. And what's wrong in South Africa is the ANC. That's what's wrong in South Africa. And it's time for us to stand up and tell it like it is, no matter how uncomfortable that truth may be for some, that if we don't fire the ANC, they're going to fire our country as a whole. That we cannot find work in our country until we put the ANC out of work. That we will never have power in our homes and in our economy and in our businesses if we don't cut the ANC's power on the 29th of May. And are we ready to do that? Yeah. Are we ready to do that? Yeah. Are we ready for a DA-led government? Yeah. I know that I am, because let me tell you, as much as what is wrong in South Africa, I know that it can be fixed with everything that is right in South Africa. And what is right is the South African people who are hungry for change. What is right is our business leaders who want a government that's gonna work with them to create millions of jobs. What is right is our public servants who want to do an honest day's work and who want to be able to make this country work. What is right are the brave policemen and women who say no to corruption and no to bribes and want to put criminals in jail where they belong. That's what's right with South Africa. And we're going to fix what's wrong by doing what is right. And what is right by the people is making a case to them why in this election, no matter all the noise, no matter all the posters on the polls, no matter all the ranting and raving, no matter all these promises that are being told, there's only one thing you need to know in this election, that it is a simple choice for you as a South African. And that simple choice is between a doomsday coalition with the ANC, the EFF, and now MK, that will see chaos and suffering and more hunger and poverty for our nation, or you can choose a multi-party charter with a strong DA at the heart of it that's gonna create jobs, that's gonna fix our hospitals, that's gonna put men and women on the street to keep you safe, that will root out the corruption so that we've got public servants who work for you and not against you. That is what we're gonna do. And so in this election, I have a message for you. If you are a mother, sitting at home, worrying right now about how you're going to put dinner on the table for your young children this evening. If you are a father and a husband who's lost their dignity because they haven't been able to find work to provide for their families, I have a message for you. If you are a young person who hasn't worked since you left school or university, I have a message for you. If you are a cancer patient in a state hospital, wondering if this government's ineptitude is gonna condemn you to death or whether you're going to get better, I have a message for you. If you're a young school student in a school where your teacher's off at union meetings rather than in the classroom teaching you, I've got a message for you. And that message is contained in that advert. And that message is simple. Help is on the way. Help is on the way. 
Because in 49 days' time, we're going to have a new government, a blue government, a government that cares for the people, a government that spends money on the people, not against them, a government that works for you, not against you, a government that creates jobs, a government that can heal the sick, a government that can make sure our children have a future. And the only way you can have that government is by making sure that you vote for the Democratic Alliance as a strong, stable anchor. And my final message is this, because it's the essential message of this advert, is that no matter how small this government has made you feel, no matter how much dignity this government has taken away from you, no matter how much suffering this government have put you and your family under, I want you to stand tall and stand big because on election day, the most powerful tool that you have is your vote. And use that vote to stand up. Just one vote in the city of Cape Town, just 42 votes in Umgeni municipality got Chris Pappas and his government over the line. And in this election, there is too much at stake to stay at home, and in this election, every single vote will count. Yeah. And, and you want to know why every single vote's going to count? Because Democrats, we are just there. You saw the polls. You saw the polls. Senzene Kangan. Let's rescue our people. Let's liberate our people. And let's work for everybody. Oh, South Africa, the first look at the DA election 2024 TV advert, where we spell out exactly why it is so important for each and every one of you to come out and vote on the 29th of May. The choice is up to you. The power is in your hands. You have the power to vote out an uncaring government and vote in a government that has a plan to rescue South Africa. I am now joined by DA leader in Johannesburg caucus, Belinda Esijonyoko. Hello, Belinda. So lovely to have you here with us on the broadcast. We've just witnessed the historic advert. What did you think about it? 
Oh, it really, really gave me hope. Uh, it gives all South Africans hope, and it shows that we are capable of running a government and being able to rescue our country. I'm very excited because we, this advert really got us ready to go out and speak to every single South African about the DA's vision of rescuing South South Africa. Absolutely. Belinda, we, as a resident of Johannesburg, um, as a resident of this country, we are plagued with rolling black. We don't have any water. We are unsafe in our homes. We have so many unemployed people struggling in our country. Why is it important for the DA to rescue South Africa? Ooh, uh, I can go on and on and on. The DA has already proven a track record in the Western Cape that we can govern, we can stop load shedding, we can stop water shedding or day zero. It's happened in the Western Cape and we have been able to show that there are clean audits, not only uh, water shedding and load shedding, but there are clean audits and we are ready to govern. The DA, in, our, in my view, is the only party that is able to rescue South Africa and give South Africans, give our children a better future. Who wouldn't want a government that is able to keep the lights on so people can have jobs and not have to say your shift ends because we don't have enough petrol for the generator and you have to go home and no work, no pay as well. So the DA is the only option we have, our only hope for our country at this point. Belinda, we see in Johannesburg the ANC, EFF and PA coalition of corruption just this week. It made me so angry. They want to spend 3.3 million rand of our money, of taxpayers' money, on bodyguards and expensive vehicles. What's happening there? Of course, uh, the DA, we, we as the DA caucus have rejected uh, it in the council. Uh, we have said to them that they are not in compliance with the upper limits. There's clear, uh, clear rules, clear indications of what the constitution says, what is allowed and what is not allowed. And uh, the coalition of chaos and doomsday and corruption has shown once again that they cannot comply with the rule of law. They've gone outside of the upper limits and obviously as the DA we do not stand for any violation where the rule of law is impacted. You just have to look at what the city of Johannesburg looks like to see that they are not doing anything. They've taken money away from service delivery. They've take, they've reduced the budget from 83 billion rand to 76 billion rand and now they are increasing private security. And for us, it's an indication that they know that they're incapable of delivering services and they are preparing for massive protests. And for us, we're saying you cannot not deliver services and then want to shield yourself, protect yourself from the very same people who trusted you with their vote and elected you to serve them. And that is why, obviously, I'm sure you know that uh, we're taking them to court. Uh, we, are, we are really taking our attorney are currently looking at it and uh, obviously we know that they come up with all sorts of stories uh, that the DA started this but you can go as far back as uh, previously when Amos Masondo and all the other mayors were in government there were uh, uh, VIP protectors but it was within the confines of the law if there were any threats or any additional security even in our government it was not done prior to an assessment getting done. What this government has now done is that they have increased private security, uh, private uh, VIP protectors, they've increased vehicles, and they've even given chairpersons of committees uh, the, uh, the the audacity to also uh, be shielded from serving the residents. And we're saying that should not be allowed because obviously it's outside of the upper limits. And also there is an existing councillor protection policy which covers councillors like myself who's an ordinary ward councillor that goes out daily to meet residents without protection. But should our lives be at risk, there is an existing councillor protection policy that covers uh, my uh, ward councillors, PR councillors, and chairpersons of committees uh, that, and you wouldn't need to add VIP protection to that. Belinda, before I let you go, um, can you tell everybody watching at home and anybody who's going to watch this broadcast why it is so important for everybody to rally behind the DA to rescue South Africa? 
Wow. You know, the, the DA not only has the DA proven that we are the only party that can govern, uh, we have in right here in Gauteng, we have the Midval that is one of the best municipalities and they are delivering jobs to young people. They have also uh, been able to stop water shedding. They've also had limited wa- uh, load shedding, but mainly the job creation. And one of the reasons why you should be voting for the DA, we are stopping water shedding. We are stopping load shedding. We are creating jobs. And we have innovative plans to ensure that South Africans are kept safe. We are also going to look at the infrastructure investment. Like in the Western Cape, in, the, in Cape Town, Cape Town has invested the single biggest budget towards infrastructure maintenance, which is even bigger than uh, uh, Ekuruleni, uh, bigger, bigger than Etekwini and Johannesburg combined. And I think that that is one of the reasons you want to keep the lights on so you can keep jobs, create jobs, and being able to deliver services. And crime must be reduced, and it will be reduced under a DA government. And obviously, go out on the 29th of May, Vote for the DA, vote for job creation, vote for the lights to be kept on so your child and my child do not have to worry about go to the shop and be shot and wait three hours for the police to come. Yeah, absolutely, South Africa, there you have it. You just had front row seats to the official launch of the DA advert for 2024 elections. South Africa, remember, the choice is yours. The DA has a plan to rescue South Africa, but we can't do anything unless each and every one of you go out and vote. Listen, I'm going to be real with you. It's not cool to go out and vote by yourself. Go with your friends. Go with your family. Take your boyfriend. Take your girlfriend. Everybody that is registered to vote needs to go out on the 29th of May and put their X next to the Democratic Alliance. We have a plan. Go to rescuesa.org.za if you want to read more about our manifesto. But like I said, the choice is yours. Vote for the DA on the 29th of May. My name is Nazli Sharif. Signing out, shop and away. In 2006, the Democratic Alliance won Cape Town by just one seat. With just 42 votes, he recently won Ngi. Because people voted for change. DA Ran Midval is now the best run municipality in Gauteng. And a new story was written for the Western Cape when people voted DA. But if you want a new government that works, then you have to vote for it. In this election, every single vote will count. Your vote can rescue South Africa. Vote DA. Thanks for watching. All across our beautiful country, people are joining forces to elect the new government that can rescue South Africa. Like and follow us on Facebook, TikTok, Instagram, Twitter and YouTube. Please share our videos with friends and family. Let's rescue South Africa. Vote DA.